Well, hello, good people. I hope you all are doing well out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get some water. I hope y'all are doing well. Mm -hmm. As y'all can see, I got my one gallon jug with some lemons in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Whew. All right. Welcome to Brown Bag Tarot. We're about to tear open somebody's bag and see what's in it. This one, this bag here, is for the Virgo. Hey, Virgo. Virgo, for a week of November 8th, you and your love life, the person you're thinking about. Y'all know how I'm about to do it. I'm about to read for the Virgo over here, and then the person they're thinking about over here, and where y'all two meet in the middle. And I added what your person want to say, because I give you advice, but I add what your person want to say. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so this bag is for the Virgo while I'm getting these cards together. Y'all hit that like button for me. All right. And uh, we're going to see what energies come up here. All right. For the Virgo. One of the three human signs. You got the Gemini, the Virgo, and the Aquarius. Everybody else is like a symbol or an animal or something. But those are the three signs that are actually human beings in the Zodiac. Hmm. So the Virgo, the Virgin, you have hmm, the hangman. Observe. Okay, observe. Let me look at this from a different point of view. Your person has got to reach out. Huh, I heard doghouse. And uh, take the lead. Take the lead. 333, three, three, because the hangman is... Um, a three that 12 breaks down into a three so you got the hangman which is a three you got the three of wands and then you also have the three of pentacles okay three of pentacles might be dealing with the capricorn okay or another earth sign maybe a pisces now i'm just gonna read it from their energy Okay, this is them. Yeah, they could be a, a, a earth sign, specifically Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. All right, Father, please give me some energy for the Virgo here. Please give me some energy for the Virgo here. Please and thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. One, two. Three, you see that uh, quiet. The Virgo is quiet. He, he she, the Virgo didn't have any cards come out. See, that's the hangman energy. Quiet. I'm looking at everything from all angles, all points of view. Not only that, you see in her robe, this is the same person, but in her robe she has on different colors. She's coming at it from the sacral part, you know, the part that loves you. She's coming at it from the uh, solar plexus. Part. That's the part that loves herself. Okay, she's coming at it from a heart space. You know, that's where she has compassion and looks and at it from every point of view. And then she's coming at it from a blue space. That's the throat chakra. So you've been trying to talk about it, but that didn't get you anywhere. So now you upside down and now you just taking a whole, you just took a whole step back. Because see, now that's that white energy. That's that crown chakra energy. That's that where a spirit can come and give you some information. You, you know, like might wake you up in a dream or, you know, um, you know, may have you. It might come to you in a song or something, you know, because now you're looking at it from all points of view. You see all of them colors up there coming to her through her head, through her crown chakra. Okay, right there. And she white, she wrapped in white, wrapped in white. They said observe. Yeah, from all points of view, from all points of view. So that's why there's no energy coming out from the Virgo. Here we go. Queen of Cups. I love you with the Ace of Coin. I love you, but I leave you behind. I show sure will. You see her back is turned to that, and that's her. You know what I'm saying? Once the Virgo, Virgo going to secure the bag. I'm going to tell you that right now. A female Virgo too? Listen, she handles her business right there with this Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Coins. You know, she looking at, you know, I'm going to clarify this Queen of Cups. I'm going to clarify that. You know what I'm saying? To reach out. What's your person thinking about? Uh-oh. 
two, mm -hmm, three. Like I said, they sitting on their ass. They sitting on their ass. They ain't doing nothing. You see that? Okay. I believe that's the three of pentacles. That's the three of pentacles. They sitting there on their behind. They ain't doing nothing. Trying to have a pity party. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. Uh-huh. Look at that. And see where y'all meet in the middle is the three of wands. It came out again. Three of wands. Take the lead. Somebody gonna have to take the lead. Or actually, it's on their side. Yep. Three of wands. It jumped out. Nine of coins. Justice. I'm going to clarify that nine of coins because, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that. Eight of coins, the moon. Okay. Uh-oh. Somebody been working on something in secret. I feel like both of y'all have been working on something in secret. I feel like, Virgo, with your relationship, I feel like ain't is. I, I feel like if y'all break up, it ain't going to be no a hard feeling on either side. I feel like both sides are going to, like, mutually agree like you know what let's just call it okay hey i'm sorry man i'm sorry too okay forgive me forgive me too you know what i mean i love you i love you too you know hey it ain't work out you know here go your socks all right cool you know can i have my you know cd case back bet there you go you know and i feel like <laughs> feel like that's what it's going to be, you know? So, Father, please, give me, clarify, clarify this Queen of Cups, Ace of Coins for me, please. So, I could just put it in a nice bowl, this message. Take the lead, Eight of Coins. Yeah, take the lead. Taking the lead on working what you, working on what you want yourself. You see this person? This person lining it up. This And, and with the Seven of Coins, because that's not here. The seven of coins, though, is like waiting or not waiting, but looking at what has happened up to this point. OK, and then it's, it's the harvest. The seven of coins is the harvest. Absolutely. It is the harvest because the eight is beginning. All right. That's a whole nother lesson in tarot. But just trust me on this. OK, so the eight is the beginning. The eight is you take what the seven produce and now you start over. That's why you see all of those sevens. Those are. That's the seven. That's the seven. And, and you see, she got the one coin. All right. That's that's what already happened. Now I'm going to take this one and and make something new happen with this one okay that's why you got the ace of coins that's why you got the, i got this i i'm gonna take this one coin this way y'all this virgo this your energy this one coin right here i'm gonna take that coin baby and i'm a that's gonna be a shooting star for me go ahead virgo but in your person's energy okay all right they got the eight of coins and then they got the nine of coins too right after so they progressing like I said, you working on something, I feel like they've been working on something because they already at the eight and about to go into the nine, okay? About to go into the nine and they feel like that's the right thing to do, which is why they're not like really reaching out to you or taking the lead because they're doing their own thing, okay? They looking out for they self. All right. Even though you've been working on yours, Virgo, good job. You've been working on yours. But hey, listen, your person being being working on their own. They being being because it's like you just coming to the eight. To the eight of pentacles, you just coming to the eight, but your person is leaving out the eight because they going to the nine. They already been working on their own stuff and they felt like it was the right thing to do. They felt like that. You know? Hey, but I, like I said, I feel like it ain't going to be no, no love lost. What is this queen of cups, ace of coins, please, with the Virgo, one coin, I mean one coin, <laughs> one card for each side, Father, please, right there, this yours, yeah, you've been working in secret, you know what I'm saying, you've been working in secret, you know, and, 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 <laughs> They've been working in secret too. Mm-hmm. 
They've been working in secret too. Because you got the high priestess, right? Your back is turned. They got temperance. They back is turned too. Both of y'all got water in the card. So yeah, y'all love each other. Or, you know, it was some feelings there. Or, or better yet, it's like it ain't no reason for the relationship to fall out all crazy. Ain't no reason for us to not like each other. When, when because this is over, okay. All right, with the nine of cups, and I feel like, yeah, that's that's what is feasible for both of y'all. Like, you know what, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we had our run, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might even sit back and have some drinks, you know, with this nine of cups, have a good meal, eat good, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, Virgo, if you're about to spring this on this person, you know. Seven of Swords, like because I have Seven of Swords. I feel like if you're about to spring this on this person, you know, sit down with a good meal, good drinks, you know, because I feel like the other person gonna be ready for it. I feel like they might even, you know, tell you, you know, but I feel like, you know, if y'all sit down and have good food and drinks, you know what I'm saying, while y'all walk away from each other, it's gonna be all good. I already said that from the beginning. There ain't gonna be no love lost. Exactly. Listen, with tower card, because I was just straightening up the deck, you know, but it just slid out. Like, oh, uh oh, surprise. Tower card ain't bad to me. Okay. It, it ain't bad to me. Okay. Tower card is like, surprise. You knew you had a leak in the roof and you didn't fix it. So now you got to get a whole new roof, but at least you can get all of these pots out the kitchen because that's weird. Okay. At least you can go back to normal. You can fix the problem. Yeah, because you was already tired of the mess, the, the pots in the kitchen, the leaky, you know, the tarp. Okay. Symbolically speaking, that was what came to me when I see, when I see the tower. That's what I think of. You knew the roof needed to be fixed. <laughs> Some of y'all might need a new roof. Okay, listen. Um, but uh, yeah, that's your message. Okay. Surprise. We don't want to go together no more. Cool. Let's toast to it and have prime rib. Great. Have a hug. I bought your stuff. It's in the car. Bet. Because yours is in the trunk. All right, switch up. All right. I talk to you. Go ahead, Virgo. That's what's up. That's what I got for you. What your person wants you to know. I'm excited about this portion. <laughs> what do your person want you to know? Thank you for the message, Father. What do you person? What the, what, what does Virgo's person want them to know? I'm so attracted to you. I wish I could share my good news with you. <sighs> there it is. Listen, Virgo, okay? If 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 y'all break up and y'all decide to break up, okay, y'all can't be friends and be sneaking around with each other. Okay, I'm so attracted to you. I wish I can call you and tell you it's like, listen, y'all don't go together no more. Okay, the person has already chose their partner and not to say that you're not supposed to be there. But I mean, let's be real, though. You know what I mean? If, if your person got some good news, you would want them to call you first. You know, and then they call you like, baby, I got the job. It's like, oh, I knew you was going to get the job, baby. Oh, my goodness. We celebrating tonight. You like, heck yeah. All right. Let me call my mama. You're like, all right, baby, I'm going to be ready tonight. Blah, blah, blah. Love you. All right. You know. Then you call mama, then you call your sisters, you know, then you call your home girl. Then so listen, I'm so attracted to you. I wish I could tell you the good news. Don't y'all start sleeping around with each other. That's and then the advice for the Virgo. The advice.
relationships. Just kiss and say goodbye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all had a good run. That's what I feel. You know, relationships ended harmoniously. Exactly. Everybody on the same page. Okay. And that's it. Soul healing. And then you can go and do some healing, Virgo. Yep. Do some healing in your heart space and in your throat area. You might have to learn to speak what you want in the future, clearly. All right, so that's what I got for you, Virgo. I hope you all enjoyed that message. Okay, if you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you resonated with the message, please leave a comment. I love to hear feedback. All right, so listen, good people. Until the next time we get together, I want y'all to pack light and I want y'all to be cool. All right.